Hello, my name is Jim Zimmelman. I am a planetary geologist at the Center for Earth and Planetary Studies, one of the research divisions of the National Air and Space Museum. I am standing at the entrance to a new exhibit at Air and Space that using images from spacecraft shows this kind of information in a brand new light. The exhibit is called Beyond Visions of Our Solar System. It is compiled by the artist Michael Benson, who has taken great pains to render the colors as close as possible to what the human eye would see if you were voyaging with these spacecraft to these exciting places. Now let's take a quick look at three of my favorite images, looking at it from the perspective of a planetary geologist. Okay, here we're looking at one of the uh, images of Earth and the Moon that was probably made famous by the Apollo 8 astronauts in the late 60s, but this series of two pictures are frames from an HD TV sequence shot by the Kaguya spacecraft as it was orbiting the moon. And the beauty of this is HD provides amazing detail. So to me, this illustrates two things. One, that Earth is special relative to the bland gray moon. And two, our technology has improved to the point that we are seeing things better and better, even though the Apollo 8 astronauts were the first human eyes to see the Earth rise over the moon we can now share that experience through HDTV thanks to this Japanese spacecraft. All right, here we are looking at a picture that we are definitely not in Kansas anymore. This is a photograph of the surface of Mars taken by the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the most recent orbiter to reach the red planet. The pinks are the color of sand dunes, the white is frozen carbon dioxide frost, and the black is where that frost is being evaporated away, revealing some of the dark surface beneath it. It almost looks biologic, and yet that is geologic in nature. And the pink color is actually very representative of what uh, the human eye would see of the color of Mars. Further out into the solar system to one of my favorite planets, Saturn. But this is a perspective we never get from the Earth. Here we are looking at the pale yellow color of clouds of the planet. And the rings are these two golden arches. We don't see either end, but we are looking at them nearly edge on. You can see a little bit of lights and darks. Those are gaps in the ring system. What we're seeing in that wonderful color of the rings is the result of billions of individual little ice particles orbiting Saturn as an individual moon. And the gaps are where the ring particles are less dense. One of the special aspects to me of Michael's exhibit is that it gives us a view of the solar system as if we were riding with these spacecraft.